So I haven't made a video for like two or three weeks and I'm really, really sorry about that. I'm gonna try not to let that happen anymore. This past weekend, I was at my school's little sci-fi convention called LeoCon. Um, I remember I talked about this when I went last year and I sold stuff and I actually sold some stuff again this year. So I kind of wanted to tell you about my time at LeoCon. So I sold with my best friend Erin again and we sold under our name Apple Pie Creations, which we have a Facebook page that I will link to down below. And I think she said that she's going to set up an Etsy shop for us soon. So I'll probably talk about that. But she sells these really cool etched glass mugs that she likes to make and I actually sell my little pony scarves and I would like to start making other scarves as well. I just haven't had time. But to kind of show you what I mean, I'm going to show you the ones that I have left. I sold these same things last year and I sold three of them and so I brought the other three that I had again with me this year because I really just didn't have time to make any new ones. I did finish one of the three that I sold. And, but I only sold one. People weren't really buying a lot of stuff from what I could tell this year at LeoCon. I guess because they had it at the end of the month and people don't usually have a lot of money around the end of the month. So that was kind of bad on their part, I think. But uh, hopefully I will sell these once we get an Etsy shop set up. But anyway, this one is the one I made that represents Twilight Sparkle. I tried to get the coloring pretty accurate with what yarn I could find. And then I hand embroider the cutie marks. Um, and then stitch them on the scarf. So that one's Twilight Sparkle. And I think this one looks a lot better. This is the one that I actually finished. The one that, one that I actually made to purposely sell this year. And this is Apple Jacks. Um, I actually finished her cutie mark while I was at the convention because people weren't really there too early in the morning. But again, I hand stitched the cutie marks and then sewed them on. I'll show you a little close up of the detail and whatnot. Um, this is all embroidery thread too. I'm really proud of these, like a lot. Um, the one I sold at the convention was Fluttershy. There are pictures of all the other ones that I have on our Facebook page, so like I said, you can go in the link below that I'll put and check those out if you're interested, or you know someone that might be, because I am totally willing to make more if somebody asks me to. So not only did I sell things at LeoCon, but I also bought things, because you can't go to a convention and not buy anything. I'm a big sucker for buttons, and there was a girl there, I cannot remember her name, um, but she does really cool art, and I bought some buttons from her. I got this really adorable Pinkie Pie one that I love because Pinkie Pie is my favorite pony, and I just think she's really adorable. And then I got two Doctor Who buttons, one of 10 and one of 11, and I think they're both really cute as well. Oh, there's a glare. I'll do one at a time. That one's 10. It's kind of dark, but there we go. You can kind of see them a little better now. And then here's 11. And, yep. I just, I thought their, her Doctor Who buttons were just adorable. Something my school does whenever they have a spirit-approved event, they give you a free button if you're a student there. And this year, LeoCon was a spirit-approved event, trying to get more people to come to it, I guess. So anyway, I thought the, but the spirit buttons were really cool for LeoCon. They kind of have this R2-D2 kind of robot look guy on here in space and I just thought it was really cool. So I want to show you that because I love it. I only got one more thing and there was this author there. Her name was Martha Wells. And I didn't get to go to her panel but um, I actually don't think I found out about this until after her panel was over. But she was selling this book called Emily and the Hollow World. I don't know, I just thought this book sounded really interesting. I haven't started it yet, but I plan on starting it soon. And it's actually, it's not very thick, and I think it's only like, yeah, it's just over 300 pages, and the font is pretty big, so it shouldn't take me long to read this. Um, but it's been a while since I've read a really good fantasy book, and this kind of sounds like that's what this will be. So I'm excited to read this, and I certainly love the cover. I think the cover is really pretty. And so it still has, it has that new book smell because it's new and I love that new book smell. So anyway, I'm very, very, very excited to start this. But overall, I was really pleased with how LeoCon went and I thought it was pretty fun, even though I really mostly just sat there all day. Erin and I actually shared our table with our friends, Brittany and Brittany, <laughs> um, and they made these really adorable kind of boa type scarves. I think they're officially naming them jellyfish scarves, but I'll show you what they look like. They look kind of like this, 
and um, they're really adorable and light so it's not really a winter thing it's just kind of a decorative thing um, but they're really cute and I think that they're gonna try and open up an Etsy shop too last I heard they wanted to make their name be Britney squared that would be their company name so um, if in the future they do open up an Etsy shop, I'll make sure to put the link in the description and also Apple Pie Creations future Etsy shop in the description. So yeah, I'm going to get better about making videos on time. I know I keep saying that this semester is just dragging on and keeping me way too busy for my own good. That's all I really have to talk about for right now, so um, I hope everyone has a wonderful week ahead and I'll see you guys next week. Bye!